What's up, world? It's your boy Anubis, and welcome to Magic the Gathering 2013. Challenge number six Say Your Praetors. In this challenge, I'm going to show you guys the five different ways to beat the challenge and slaying a different Praetor each time. Um, and I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible because it's a long challenge. So let's just jump on into it. You're going to get attacked by all five Praetors, and we're going to go ahead and just go right for the middle and destroy the Black Praetor first. What you want to do is cast your Brute Force and your Giant Growth. Yes, that's what she said. Um, cast them both on your Bane Slayer Angel to make it a 9-9 monster capable of destroying the, uh, the Black Praetor. Um, there we go. Destroyed. We take our damage. end of the turn and because of the blue praetor special ability they get to draw a card no big deal they cast their thought scour we lose a couple cards also no big deal and then it is our turn all right and in order to beat this one what we have to do is simply just attack with our bane slayer angel um yeah that's all we gotta do and uh, it's simple as that. You might think it's easy, but this is where the tricky part comes. They cast their Leaf Arrow, and what that does is it deals three damage to target creature. We're going to stop the timer and cast our Veteran Reflexes, which brings our Bane Slayer Angel up to a 4-4 monster, giving it the four defense it needs to withstand the attack of that card and gives us the four attack we need to destroy Jace for the first way to beat the challenge. All right, that's one out of five. On to the next one. All righty, so... Here we are again, and once again, the enemy is going to attack, and this time we're going to go right, and we're going to defend against the blue Praetor. Oh, not the black, the blue Praetor. What am I doing? There we go. Defend against the blue Praetor, and this time you don't have to cast both of your cards. All you have to do is cast one of them. Either one, doesn't matter. Cast one because it only takes six damage to destroy them, and boom, right there. Blue Praetor's gone, and they do their damage once again. And that, that's that. End of the turn. And because we didn't destroy the Black Praetor, the Black Praetor special ability means that we have to sacrifice our creatures. So there goes our Bane Slayer Angel. No big deal. It's not going to kill us because we have our Avatar of Might, which we are going to cast the light now. Um, cast the Avatar of Might. Next, you want to go ahead and cast the Nivorous Whips and place that on the White Praetor, tapping that card so that way it can't defend. After that, uh, you draw a card, but uh, no big deal. It doesn't help you at all. Next, you want to cast your Veteran Reflexes, which untaps your Avatar of Might, giving it a plus one, one also. Um, and finally, you want to cast your Burst of Speed, giving your creature haste, allowing it to attack this turn and defeat your enemy. And this is the second way in order to beat the challenge. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And there we are. We defeated Jace. Challenge three. Challenge, challenge number two. Done. Knocked out. On to the next one. Alrighty, so we've destroyed the Black Praetor and the Blue Praetor. So this time, let's go ahead and go left and destroy the Red Praetor. Once again, just like last time, we only have to use one of our instant cards because it only has six defense. And we're going to save the other one for later because uh, we need it later. So, uh, boom. Just like that, Red Praetor is gone. And we're going to take our damage again. One, two, three... Four. There's my lame acapella for you guys. Uh, there we go. And once again, Blue Praetor lets him draw a card. Thought Scour, we lose a couple cards. No big deal. And it's our turn. Go there. Alright, once again, we gotta destroy our card because of their black Praetor. And this time, we're gonna cast Avatar of Hope instead of Avatar of Might because we have three or less life. Um, so we get to cast that, which is awesome because it's a flying card. We're going to cast Giant Growth, making it a 5-10 creature, so that way we can deal enough damage. And we're once again going to um, cast Burst of Speed, giving our creatures haste, uh, allowing us to attack this turn. Go straight to our combat phase, and we're just simply going to attack. And just like that, there we go. We just defeated Jace for the third way. On to the next one. So we have defeated three of the Predators so far. Two left to go. Hmm. Let's go with the white one. We're going to destroy the white Praetor next. Just like that. And uh, like the first time, we're going to have to use both Brute Force and Giant Growth because this Praetor has 7 defense. So we need to buff our, buff our Bane Slayer Angel all the way up to 9 to destroy it. There we go. 
Boom. Just like that. White Crater is gone. We take our damage again. This time I'm not going acapella. You guys, you only get that once. Take our damage. End the turn. They draw a card. He's going to cost cast pot, scour again. We lose a couple cards. No big deal. It's our turn again. We sacrifice our card. And now we are going to kick some butt. Alright, this time what we're going to do is we're going to cast Spark Elemental. Cast that one out there. And since it has haste, we don't have to worry about casting haste on ours. But we do have to cast Veteran's Reflexes, um, which gives it a plus 1-1, one, one, giving it the attack that we need to destroy our enemy, and also untapping it so that way we can attack. There we go, it's our attacking phase. We attack, and just like that, that is the fourth way that we defend, or not defend, destroy our enemy. And uh, yeah, so one, one more to go! One more to go. We are on the final Praetor. One last one to go before the lovely, lovely achievements. And uh, that last guy is the green Praetor. The big bad guy. The biggest, baddest of them all. And uh, once again, we have to use both brute force and giant growth on our creature. Making it a 9-9 monster. There we go. Boom. Green Praetor gone. We take our damage for the final time. Except this time, at the end of the turn, they're going to go ahead and uh, draw a card, cast their uh, Thought Scour, but we are going to pause the timer and we are going to go ahead and cast our Parallel... Para, Paralectric feedback excuse me paralytic feedback we're gonna cast that card um, destroying his card because uh, now that the green uh, Praetor is gone our mana cards will untap at the beginning of the next turn and we dealt one damage to him which is important because all we have to do now is uh, well, once our card is gone all we have to do now is cast sizzle we win that's the end of the game achievement unlocked and uh, yeah so that's the five ways to defeat the enemy guys um, Hope you found this informative and helpful, and if you did, please hit that like button. It really helps me out and gets this video out there so that other people can get helped by it. That right there on the screen is the avatar that you unlock for beating this one in all five different ways. And yes, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see uh, the rest of the challenges, I'll be uploading them as well, so go ahead and subscribe to those. And the link for the next challenge will be in the top right of the screen. Once it goes up, I'll put the link there. So if the link's not there yet, the challenge hasn't been uploaded yet. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been your boy, Anubis. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.